deluxe edition solo album, I don't know what to expect. It's, it's like that um, on steroids. It's, um, <laughs> it's two CDs, it's a DVD with the surround sound mix on, it is a 120 page hardback cloth bound book. Uh, with the CDs and the DVD kind of mounted in the, in the uh, inside of the hardback. But it also has a separate 48 page book, so there's two books, softback book, and uh, with drawings. So we have a photo book and we have a, also, uh, this time we have drawings by a fantastic German artist that we discovered. He's illustrated the whole of the incident in drawings as well. Very twisted, I like it. Um, and both of those books are housed in a, in a uh, hard slipcase. So it weighs about three tons. It will cost about ten thousand dollars to have it shipped to your door, but it's a piece of art, and that's the point. What gets me hot about box sets? Well, you know what? I grew up in the era of um, right at the end of it, but just at the end of the, the great era of the vinyl, and I still remember the thrill of going out and buying uh, a beautifully packaged vinyl record in a gatefold sleeve with a lyric sheet, posters, pullouts, novelty sleeves, whatever it was, you know. And I just felt like I'd, I'd invested my pocket money. Uh, and remember, when you had pocket money, you had to make very careful decisions about what you were going to invest in. One album a month if I was lucky, I felt like I'd invested in a piece of art. I wanted to feel like I'd invested in a piece of art. Something that I would treasure and cherish. Not some software files or you know a kind of functional CD in a bland crystal case. That that for me is is um, in a way an era that we've been through now. And now we're coming back out of that. We're coming back to the idea of special editions and special packaging. And I think that's a good thing. And I think the reason we're coming back to it is because record companies are realising that if they still want to sell physical products. They have to make people want to own it. They have to. They have to kind of cultivate this feeling of, of you know, um, cherishment and treasuring something, and really wanting to collect and own something beautiful. Listen, if you if you loved a painting or a print, you want to hang it on your wall. You don't want to look at fucking JPEG on your, your iPhone, do you? At least I don't. And I think it's the same with with music. If it's presented as art, people will, will relate to it as art. If you present it to them as kind of functional, disposable shit, that's the way they will relate to it. So for me, the, the special editions, the deluxe editions, is a way, again, of making music something that people want to cherish, own, and treasure, like they would treasure a beautiful painting.